Okay, so today I'm going to do the uh, on the table review for the Gerber Prodigy. And now I'm going to start with the case because uh, I want to. Um, I have altered the case first off. I've altered the case because of the way that I carried it. It came with two snaps. Uh, two snaps for um, pair jumping. If you were to jump out of an airplane and if you were to pull your chute and a cord were to hit it, it's a redundant strap. You had another one that was up here and there was this one down here. I pulled it out because I don't use the leg strap and the leg strap would keep this straight. And if uh, I cut off the bottom one, it would have cocked it. It'd like it, it, it make the nice set like this slanted on my belt. And I didn't like it. So I, I cut off the bottom one. I cut off the top one and used the bottom one because I let it hang down. Um, you don't even have to even use these things. Uh, it's got a retaining retaining uh, rubberized plastic that constricts on uh, the bottom of the handle or the top of the handle your hilt rather um, and it holds it in there pretty well it takes a little bit of in and out when you first get the knife to uh, loosen it up a bit it's pretty stiff in the beginning but it gets better and makes for relatively no noise not a knife not a noise that you would uh, associate with a knife um, the actual holding portion of your sheath that holds your knife is made out of a plastic that's covered with a rubberized material of some sort. Um, you can put the blade into this either way. It does not um, have to go in a certain way. You can flip it with whether you want the blade to be facing forward or you want the blade to be facing backwards depending on how you most often draw the knife it allows you to um, carry it pretty much any way you wanted to whether you wanted to molly this to a vest so that way you could pull it straight down and out and or have it molly to a backpack that has the molly clips to it to molly um, I like the sheath it's a really cool sheath and, uh, does not weigh that much. Doesn't weigh as much as it looks. Now down to the knife. Bad boy. They're made. It's a Gerber, so it's made in America. One of the things that I liked about it, Portland. It uh, handle. Oh, buddy, it's a glass resin rubberized coated full tang blade handle. And uh, it does not matter which way you hold this knife. You give it a squeeze. And hold it in your hand where it does not feel. There's not a way that you can hold this knife where it does not feel com unco where it feels uncomfortable in your hand. Um, it, it feels really good in the hand, and uh, I've had a lot of fun using it. And it's definitely a better replacement than what I had before. Um, it's a 420 high carbon stainless steel blade, which means it can rust, but if you take care of it, it won't. It has a uh, glass breaker here down at the bottom. I haven't used it, and when I do a demonstration video, I probably won't. Uh, litter up the forest or wherever I am with a uh, broken glass. Uh, there's plenty of other videos out there if you want to watch one that has somebody breaking glass with the glass breaker. I trust that it breaks. Um, the blade yeah, out of the box uh, still actually four weeks ago. It's still that big shaved chunk in my hand. My hand, I shaved this out of my hand. I was going to do a shave the neck video but it kind of hurt so I uh, decided not to do that. But um, the serrations, they work really good. The blade is uh, remarkably sharp. And it holds its edge like uh, like it should. I mean, uh, they make this knife with the military, like the strict, the strict uh, specifications with the military in mind. The military can actually contract this knife and supply our American troops with it. And it... Uh, pass their judgment so I mean it's got to pass the American standards for an average everyday use I carry it as, as my I carry this thing everywhere it's on my hip I get dressed in the morning there it is um, I love it I mean you have to check your local laws our carry law is uh, five inches this blade is 4.75 inches so it's just legal for me to carry and um, I mean thing holds an edge really well and uh, it, uh, it sharpens back, brings the edge back, you bring it back to razor really easy. Um, and the coating, I mean it 
put it through a few things. I haven't beat this up that bad, but that I believe that's just from in and out of the case. But I mean, I I put it through its course a couple times and uh, carved up a few things with it. It's a good knife. I like it a lot. Well, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little review on this knife. And um, I happened to pick this up for forty-eight dollars shipped on eBay. You can get them around that price, and it's well worth it. Uh, if you're considering getting one of the uh, Bear Grylls knives, I would uh, strongly recommend that you pick this up instead, because the steel and quality in this is uh, far surpasses the Bear Grylls products. And while the Ultimate Survival Knife is slightly longer than this, I mean, you really don't need it, honestly. And I'd rather have the slightly shorter blade with a full tang um, handle than the Gerber LMF2 because I've seen in a lot of videos online of the Gerber LMF2 uh, from batoning use where this just cracks and peels back and when the hammer, they have the hammer butt on the other end and they're hammering and hammering and hammering and doing what they're doing with it and then they show it to you and it's just beat to piss. So it's going to get beat to piss on this end when you use it and it's going to get beat to piss on this end when you use it. Uh, it's not going to be long before that blade will eventually come out and um you won't have that problem with this considering that the piece of steel that's found here is none other than the same piece of steel that's found here. So, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I, I give this like a 5 star, a 1 to 5 rating. Um, Alright guys, I'll do a demo video of some of its destructive powers and whatnot. You know, how it works out in the field and how you can use it. Alright guys, thanks. Like the videos, uh, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Appreciate it. Have a good one.